Hello there YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get the WireMod SVN download for Gary's Mod. Uh, this basically lets you have all these new um, chips and things like that to make well, better things on Gary's Mod. Okay, so the first thing you want to do really is um, go to your internet browser. And I'll, I'll put the link in the description for this. Um, and you need to, we need to get something called Tortoise SVN. Uh, which is here. Let's click downloads, and then I'll put this the link up here in the description. Uh, for me, I want to get the the 64-bit uh, version. So then, click this one, and then you just basically wait for this to come up. And then it should. There we go. And I'll just click run. But as I've already got this, I'll skip this bit. So what you have to do is just download it and install it, and it will tell you to restart your computer. Um, uh, but you will have to do that because you can't start using it until you restart your computer. Okay. So uh, once you've got that downloaded and installed, and you after you've restarted your computer, what you want to do is go to your Gary's Mod folder, which is in your computer, and you go your C, Program Files. Uh, or program files x86 in my case for 64 bit and you scroll down to steam uh, you go to steam apps and then your username gary's mod and gary's mod again right now in this folder uh, so actually what you want to do is go to add-ons go into the add-ons folder now in here you want to create a new folder and you want to call that wire mod co Right, once you've done that, you want to right click on that and then click SVN Checkout. Now in the uh, URL of the repository, you want to paste in the link which I will put in the description. And for the checkout directory, make sure it's pointed to the WireMod CO folder you've just made. Right, now once you've checked all that, just click OK. And then it will start downloading all of the, the WireMod folders and files. Um, don't worry, the speed will pick up. There you go, it picks up. Um, it can take a while, and if my friend, it took about ten to tw well, ten to fifteen minutes. It all depends on your internet speed. Mine's going fairly slow today, actually, um, and also how many people are downloading from it. Um, so for now, what I'll do, I will pause the the uh, the recording, and then I'll get back to you as soon as the uh, wire model is finished downloading. Okay, right, now that has just finished. And as you can see, it was 19 megabytes. And it only took me two minutes. Uh, I realised why it was going so slow, because I'm actually streaming an online radio station at the same time, but oh well. Uh, didn't take too long, plus I had time to go and get something to eat. <laughs> okay, so once this is finished downloading, just click the OK button here. And then you want to go back to your add ons folder, where the WireMod folder was. And just go inside there and select the wire model pack 1, the wire and advanced duplicator folder and you want to cut that so right click and cut or control and X and you just want to go back to your add-ons folder and then paste it in here right and then once that's done you want to uh, delete your wire mod co folder now you've got all your folders here and what you want to do um, when no right, sorry. <laughs> now you have your wire mod installed. What you want to do, um, if you want to update it, like uh, that's the good thing about SVN is when a new version of the program comes out or the files, all you have to do is right click on the folder, go down to SVN update, and then that just checks, make sure there's no uh, new files, and if there is, it downloads them. Then you just click OK. Um, and that is about it. Uh, I've been Crispy1002, uh, and this is how to download WireMod SVN for your Gary's Mod. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and uh, thumbs up the video, whatever you want to call it. I'm not quite sure. Um, Alright, thank you.